So thank you for joining. Thank you for being with us as a group. I'll start the bell to start the meditation. And again, I'll send the bell at the end. You don't need to worry about the time. We'll have everything wrapped up by eight o'clock. So finding comfortable seated position or lying on the floor or the bed. Seated, just keeping yourself enough capacity to sit in an upright position. Remembering it's the capacity to be upright and not uptight, just enough attention within the shoulders. Maybe now just noticing the support that's been offered to the body on the chair or the bed as you lie or sit here this morning or this afternoon or this evening, whatever time it is for you. She's starting with the head down to the shoulders back, lower back, buttocks, legs, knees, calves, and the feet. Noticing the contact points. Now bringing the attention, the awareness to the breath. Wherever it feels best for you to notice the breath during this meditation, maybe it's the inhale through the nose and the exhale through the mouth, the movement of air may be easy for you to recognize or notice. Or maybe it's the rise and fall of the belly. And start with some breathing, just using the breath to bring us to the point of awareness within the body, the autonomic nervous system, just giving it the capacity to move to the parasympathetic state, the place that gives us that capacity to move into our day ahead. our optimal state. Homeostasis. So we'll start the deep breath in. And then the deep breath out. And I'll just provide some guidance as we go. So when you're ready, let's take in a deep breath, counting to five. One, two, three, four, five. Deep breath out. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Pushing out. So as we move to the next breath, just remembering on the exhale, we want the exhale to be longer, like that Nike swoosh last bit of push on the exhale. So once again, on the deep breath in, one, two, three, four, five, and out, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 
Now just allowing the breath to return to its normal rhythm. Once again, we'll take a deep breath in, and this time we're gonna hold the breath at the top for a few seconds. So when you're ready, filling up the lungs and the belly, one, two, three, four, five, holding. One, two, three, exhale out slowly. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Take our last breath in in this series. Again, we'll hold at the top. One, two, three, four, five, holding. One, two, three, exhaling. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Again, now just allowing the breath to return to its natural rhythm. Now let's move our awareness and our attention to the forehead. Just as you arrive at this point of the body, just noticing what's here when you arrive in the forehead, what's here for you now in this area, broadening the awareness to take into account the forehead and the eyebrows. Again, this often furrowed area can hold tension straining as we start to move into our day or straining as we start to leave our day. We're just getting a sense of a capacity to just soften here around the eyebrows and the forehead. Sensing into a capacity to soften or to let go a little bit. Just noticing breath as it arrives in bringing in the life force and the prana. As we breathe out into this area of the face just a softening, a letting go, a letting go, a letting go. Just breathing in the energy and the life force and then just letting go, softening the eyebrows, softening the forehead, letting go, letting go. Getting a sense of our capacity to just let this area soften like ice to water, just a softening and melting the furrowed brow, the tension in the eyebrows, just let go. Now bring the attention, the awareness just down to the eyes and just bringing the eyes into your awareness. The eyes are closed just, just to bring a sense of softening to the eyes, not pressing them closed, just gently allowing them to close, to sit here. No tension needed, nothing to see, no striving, just a sense of the eyes resting as they are. Softening within the eyes. And if possible, Maybe we can just bring a sense of smile to the eyes. Just 
is calling to mind a beautiful scene or a sight of a loved one that can just lift the eyes, just bring a smile as we soften into the eyes. Remembering that during the guidance and the meditation, your mind will wander, it'll go off planning and worrying and strategizing and overthinking. And that's okay, that's what minds do. What's important is your capacity to just bring it back to the point of our attention, bring it back to the softening of the eyes, the lifting of the eyes with a smile and the softening, no striving resting, moving down from the eyes and into the mouth and the palate, just letting the tongue fall back into the lower palate, let it just rest there. Nothing needed from the tongue right now. Notice just how it can rest and fall back into place. Again, just bringing the capacity to the mouth or maybe just lifting the sides for a smile. As difficult at times as it is to even bring a smile, we can just lift the sides of the mouth just to mimic the smile. Just that movement alone sends a signal to the nervous system just to say, it's okay. Right now, all is well as we sit or lie here. The Zen master Thich Nhat Hanh calls this happy yoga. Smile as we meditate. mindfully smiling, we are aware of our need to just lift the mouth. Now bringing the whole of the face and the head into our awareness, just sensing into this part of our body and just noticing how it feels, maybe lighter or heavier or hot or cold. Just bringing that sense of a smile from the forehead to the eyes, down to the mouth. Now moving the awareness down the neck and into the shoulders. Just moving to the left shoulder first, just noticing what's here when we arrive at the left shoulder. Noticing any sense of tension or tightness. Maybe just giving the shoulder a slight little movement, maybe a slight rotation, either forward or backward. Just connecting into the shoulder. Again, bringing the awareness across the shoulder blades to the right shoulder. And here, once more, just noticing what's here, tightness or tension or maybe no sensation at all. We're not looking to create a sensation, we're just looking to notice what's here. Again, maybe just giving that right shoulder a little slight movement. Now bringing the shoulders into your awareness, 
in their entirety. Just getting a sense of the breath as we bring our awareness to the shoulders. Bringing in that life force, that energy, the prana. Breathing out, just a sense of letting go. Of seeing if we have the capacity to just let the shoulders drop a little. Ice to water, melting the shoulders. Breathing in the energy and breathing out, letting go. Noticing the ice to water, seeing if you have the capacity to just let go a little bit here in this part of the body. And then sensing if there's a capacity to just let go a little bit more like water to gas, a little more level, just letting go. Breathing in the life force and the energy and breathing out, tension, letting go. Letting go, letting go. Now just bringing the tension down from the shoulders and down the biceps of the arms, down towards the elbows. Remembering again that the mind will wander and that's what minds do. So just gently acknowledging and bringing the attention back to the elbows. As we move down the arms, through the wrists and into the hands. Maybe turning the hands up to the ceiling if they're not already turned up. Just holding them here open. And arriving into the palms and the fingers. Noticing what's here in these palms and in these fingers. <clears throat> A tingling sense of energy, life force. So many nerve endings and senses available in the hands and the fingers. Just noticing what's here for you now as you sit. Getting a sense of hot or cold or a sense of lightness or heaviness in the hands. No real sensation at all. Just allowing the attention and the awareness to now sit on the breath again. Maybe that's on the inhale through the nose or the exhale through the mouth or the rise and fall of the belly. Just noticing your capacity to bring your attention here. This is available to you all the time throughout the day. So just rest in awareness for a moment, just watching the breath inhale and the exhale. When the mind gets distracted, just bring it back to the breath.
just noticing the mind wandering again like a distracted student. All we need to do is just remind it to return to the breath, come back and sit. Just pay attention to the breath, the rise and fall of the belly. Now, bringing our awareness and our attention to the heart. Moving from the breath up to the heart. Just getting a sense of our capacity to sit here with an open heart, an open heart awareness. Maybe now just using this opportunity as we sit here with an open heart awareness to just set an attention. Set your intention for today. Maybe just starting with the statement and just seeing what comes up, listening to the heart, not the mind, the heart. Today, I intend to dot, 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 what comes up? Now, as we still rest within this open heart, maybe just draw one thing into our awareness that we can hold a sense of deep gratitude for. Allowing the thought to just arrive without striving. Today, I am truly grateful for What's here? Today I am truly grateful for. And now finally bringing the mind and the awareness just back to the body. Noticing the fingers and the toes. Maybe just bringing an awareness to the sounds in the room. Just noticing your capacity to move your hearing to the sounds in the room, the sounds around you. Maybe broaden that sense of awareness to the sounds outside the room. Now just noticing once again the support being offered to the body, the contact points, pressure points, the areas that are supported from the head to the toes. When you're ready, it feels comfortable, you can open your eyes. Namaste, and thank you for taking the time to sit here. Today, for me, a big reflection point is just remembering people who show up on our daily screens as numbers. 
remembering that they are names and they were people and they are souls and they have passed and many of them have not had the capacity to say goodbye to their loved ones or to mourn. Just taking that sense of gratitude that we have our own health, our own families, but also just remembering those. Not in a sad way, but in a compassionate way, just in a human way, humanizing the numbers. I think that's important. So I thank you and I appreciate you for being here. I wish you well, peace and goodwill to all in our homes, our communities, our societies, our countries, to all sentient beings and to the earth. And may we find peace as we move through these difficult times. Back tomorrow again at 7.30. You're more than welcome to join. Thanks for the messages, Ken. Ken wants to know that I get turfed out of my living room. <laughs> I'm still in the living room, <clears throat> but I've, I've moved around. Um, the living room. Beatrice felt I was kind of taking up too much space. So I'm more kind of in a corner of the living room now, Ken. Thank you, Alison. Thanks, Dorothy. Thanks, Pam. Thanks, Winner. Thank you, Elizabeth. Thanks, Susan. Thanks, Patricia. Thanks, Trace. Thanks, Bex. Thanks, Carol. Thanks, Jesse. Thanks, Rosie. Thanks, Annabelle. David. Thanks, Fairway Dreamer. Thanks, everybody who's been here on Instagram, on Facebook, on Zoom, on LinkedIn. I wish you well. It is quite a nice space, though, this is a bit I have got. The greenery down here, which is really nice. If you watch on YouTube, you'll see a much bigger shot. So it's not, it's not the worst place. And I am actually still in my pajamas, but you can't see that on Facebook and uh, Instagram. <laughs> Thanks, guys. I wish you well for the day ahead. Back tomorrow. So ending the YouTube meditation as well. Sorry, I got distracted with social media. We're live on Instagram and Facebook for these meditations as well. So I have too many screens to look at. <laughs> so thank you for being here and joining me. You'll find more of my meditations on the YouTube channel. You can find more about me at justincaffrey.com.